Welcome lovelies. In today's episode, I'll be showing you guys my version of homemade chicken pho. Now, I tried to get this recipe as authentic as possible, so let's go ahead and see how I did. Alright, first I went to my local grocery store. I went ahead and grabbed me a whole chicken. Um, definitely organic is preferred. And I went home and took it, washed it down with some pink Himalayan salt and water. And I really just rubbed the chicken down to make sure we got all the impurities off of it. Then I added it to a stock pot and I went ahead and stuffed it with some sliced green onions as well as some fresh sliced ginger. And this is just going to give it more flavor and more depth to our broth as well as our chicken. I went ahead and filled up our stock pot with about 5 cups of water and added 2 bouillon cubes. You can also just use chicken broth and have water totally up to you. Just one of the two needs to be in there. Next, I took it to my burner and I'm just going to go ahead and bring this to a boil. Covering it does help it bring to a more rapid boil. So that's what we're going to do in half the time. And then once it comes to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and skim the top layer off just to make sure we're grabbing any of those impurities from the chicken. And this ensures that we keep a clear broth. I'm also going to add a white charred onion. This also keeps our broth very clear and also gives it lots of flavor. So yeah, I'm just going to keep boiling this for another like 10 minutes or so and while that's boiling I'm gonna char up some more vegetables and some other aromatics I chose some red onion ginger and of course you guys know I added some garlic I also have this pho flavor pack that I got from my local farmers market it has a little bit of star anise some cinnamon a little bit of clove fennel and also um what else does it have guys oh and some coriander so yeah I just went ahead and charred both sides of the produce and the aromatics and I'm going to take the remaining herbs and spices and put in that little satchel patch I just showed and throw everything into my broth in like the last 30 minutes or so and just to ensure that my broth gets really flavorful and very rich so yeah, there's me adding the pack in there. I'm also keeping the yellow onion in there. And I also charred up some green onion too. I'm like, let me just throw that in there too and add some more flavor. So I took the charred vegetables and I went ahead and scraped off the like, a lot of the blackness off of there. Um, I kept a little bit because I wanted some flavor in there. But um, for the majority of it, I took it all off so it doesn't make our broth all murky. We want to keep it as clear as possible. And like the last 15 minutes of cooking, maybe even 20, I added some fish sauce in there just to give it some more umami flavor and I went ahead and simmered it for about 15 minutes or so and yeah now I'm just gonna strain my broth starting with the chicken um, now guys I cook my broth for like an hour and 30 minutes um, they suggest 30 to 60 minutes is enough but I'm like no I want more flavor oh my God. but of course it did make it a little bit more difficult for my chicken to come out of the pot because it was so tender it was literally just falling apart so yeah but anyways um, go ahead and restrain everything from out of your broth and then we're gonna go ahead and plate up and it's time to eat All right, so let's talk pho toppings because no pho is complete if you don't have the toppings. I feel like they are an essential to this dish. So I'm going like to add a little bit of sriracha sauce paired with some hoisin sauce. Now some people may argue that you don't need either one, but I like a little added sweetness and also some spicy to my pho. I also have some sliced green onions, some sliced yellow onions, as well as some cilantro and some sliced jalapenos. Now to take that strong bite away from yellow or white onions, I went ahead and soaked them for about 20 minutes in cold water and that would just make each pho bowl bite way more enjoyable and you don't have like the onion overpowering in your dish so like yeah that is like my little tip right there for making pho I'm just going to take all my toppings and add it on top and ensuring that I have enough deliciousness in my bowl okay so yeah this is pretty much done and I'm also going to top it with a lime wedge because no pho is complete without lime so guys thank you so much for watching make sure you smash that like button comment below and also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when your girl is posting a new video thank you guys so much for watching I love you all bye bye